Okay, good morning guys. Guess what day it is today? It is actually the day that I have been working towards for over a year. And uh, it is the day when we are going on vacation, our first vacation in our brand new, freshly built camper van. And uh, we're so excited. Uh, the wife and I and our little dog are heading to Key West. And uh, we're going to be hitting all the state parks on the way there and um, and then spending a couple days in Key West and then coming back uh, to Pensacola hitting some additional state parks. So we are excited and uh, you can kind of see, let me show you the van here so far. We've got, uh, got it kind of outfitted here and uh, we're still actually packing in a couple things. and. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be uh, testing out uh, just to see if possible if this is something that we can do on a longer term basis. Um, and who knows, you know, I, I might even uh, after the end of two weeks decide, hey, this is, I wouldn't want to live in here. But, uh, but who knows, it might uh, turn the other way as well. So anyways, so let's, we're still getting packed up. Let's do that. And then we'll head off to our first state park. Again, we're heading down the west coast uh, on the west side of Florida. Uh, we're going to try to avoid all the interstates. We're going to hit Highway 98. And our first uh, park that we'll be at tonight is Grayton Beach State Park. So yeah, so let's get packed. All right, guys, we are packed up and ready to go. Are you ready, Bernie? Are you ready, baby? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the van is loaded, looking mighty cozy. And uh, so we're heading off to Grayton Beach State Park and our first ever long vacation slash van camping trip. And uh, we're excited. So yeah, here we go. All right, well, we didn't make it very far. Uh, we just got down the road and uh, we knew we were going to have to stop by Walmart anyways, but we were just driving down the road and we had our first instance of the refrigerator door opening and a bunch of stuff flying out. So uh, I went into Walmart, got some stuff, got some bungee cords and things, but one of the things I got is this little child safety lock. Uh, Oh, it comes with two of them. Um, so we're going to attach this to the refrigerator. All right, guys, we are on Highway 98, heading to Key West. And uh, how's it going back there, baby? Good. Teresa's back there watching what not to wear as we drive and uh, Bernie's over here just kind of chilling on the on the seat there and uh, we're on vacation baby it's gonna be good it's gonna be exciting it's a little bit of an overcast day but that's all right looks like we'll probably get into our campsite around 222 and uh, We'll get everything set up and have our uh, first campsite. And uh, again, this has been a, a year in the waiting and working just about every Saturday and uh, all, all my vacation days, or most of my vacation days, and putting life on hold basically on other things in order to get this done and uh, and I love it I love that we're driving down the road in luxury and uh, wherever we go we got our home with us it's kind of nice and I just want to say for anybody out there who has a uh, a desire to do something like build a camper van that uh, I mean 
mean, you can do it. And the stuff that you can't do, you can hire out. You can find somebody, a friend, or somebody can get that part done for you. Um, I, I did personally everything in this van except for the cabinets, although I was very involved in the cabinet process. But the cabinets and the laying of the vinyl plank flooring. But everything else, the roof, the installing the, the exhaust fan, cutting holes in the floor, all that, um, I did myself. And if I didn't know how to do it, I just YouTubed it and researched and a lot of research. I, I probably spent as much time, if not more time, on the build, um, doing research as I did on the build. But this, these uh, next few days are all about us trying to see if uh, this is something that we enjoy doing. And um, uh, like I said in the tour video, I, I heard the comp, the the saying that uh, married men build better camper vans. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I definitely wanted to build something nice for Teresa, so she would be cozy, and um, because I wanted her to come along, and I knew that in order for us to travel anywhere, she was going to bring little Bernie with us, and that kind of limits, you know puts a little limiting factor on things in terms of hotels and stuff like that. Um, but to build our own little hotel that can travel with us. And really, I think this van is like the ultimate, ultimate RV, uh, at least for us now. Because if we want to, we can just drive into a drive through with the van, order, and uh, eat in the back, and I mean, we're very, I don't know if you wanna say stealthy, but uh, we're very, it's a normal vehicle, it's a van, it's not like a giant RV that you have to really concern yourself about driving and parking. Um, so yeah, I think the van is like the perfect thing for us at this, at this time. here at Grayton Beach State Park and uh, just waiting to pull into our campsite. Um, there was a travel trailer that was pulling in and parking so there's I think they're just about done now. So yeah right here we're campsite number two. So as you can see, we have a great little campsite here. And, uh, and actually, down our campsite, there's a little trail, all kinds of little trails. And actually our trail, watch this little briar. Mm -hmm. 
Our trail leads to a little marshy area. It's pretty. What do you think about that, Bernie? <laughs> He's like enjoying all this newness. Well, um, we have just finished uh, uh, dinner. Had some uh, leftover chilies, uh, steak fajitas, and Teresa, I heated up her little pizza in the oven, and it was good dinner. And now we're kind of getting ready to turn in for bed. Um, how'd you like it so far today, baby? It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's just been real cozy, and I think Bernie's going to be really enjoying this the next few days, just being out and about, sniffing and peeing everywhere. So, anyway, so until the next time, we'll talk to you later. All right, bye.